Hello students, I am Vani Malhotra, SST mistress from Government Middle School, Salamatpur, District, SS Nagar, Mohali. Students, we will be doing a very interesting lesson, 6 of class 10th, Some Glimpses of Ancient Indian Thought and Practices. I had already done with you part 1 and part 2. Today is the part 3 of this lesson. Let's get started. Students, here's a question for you. Women, the mother of mankind. Discuss. Before moving further, students, let's discuss what is the meaning of mother. The meaning of being a mother is virtually endless. A mother is a protector, disciplinarian and friend. A mother is selfless, loving human who sacrifices many of their wants and needs for the wants and needs of their children. A mother works hard to make sure that their children is equipped with the knowledge, skills and abilities to make it as a competent human being. So students, here is a well-known saying by Rudyard Kipling that God could not be everywhere and therefore he made mothers. Let's have a quick recap of what we studied in part 1 and part 2. Gods were losing in a fight against demons. They went to Lord Vishnu in desperation. The Lord advised them to get a powerful sword. The gods approached the sage Datichi, a great saint. Datichi took no time in laying down his life so that his bones could be made into an invincible weapon. This is an example of the victory of good over an evil. Nobody can forget the supreme sacrifice of young sons of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji. The people of this country believe in the unity of life, anywhere and everywhere. Some scholars laughed at a deformed body of Ashtavakra. Lord Rama ate tasted berries from a bheel woman. Swami Vivekanand said that a character of a man makes him great, not his clothes. So students, let's begin with part 3 of this lesson. Students, let's read the text together. The history of this great land is full of examples where no auspicious function was considered to be held properly without the participation of women. So much so that if no women could somehow make it to the function, a statue of the woman was created to mark her auspicious presence. This only proves that a woman in this great land was never looked upon as an object of lust or sex. She was always considered a Devi, Goddess, a Kanjak a young unmarried girl child fit to be worshipped, the mother of mankind, 
the ardhangini the inseparable but equal wheel of the rath chariot of life let's learn some new words and their meanings first auspicious means giving or being a sign of future success second statue means a carved or cast figure of a person or an animal third kanjak means a young unmarried girl child fit to be worshipped fourth inseparable means unable to be separated fifth worship means the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity dear students the status of women was very good in ancient india she was worshiped as a goddess a devi no function in the family was considered proper without her presence in her absence the statue was placed in the functions this clearly shows that women in ancient india was never looked upon as an object of lust or sex even the unmarried girl child is fit to be worshiped as kanjak it is said that husband and wife are inseparable they are considered as equal wheel of rath of life men and women are two wheels of same cart if one of the wheels missed the cart cannot move properly it means that men and women have equal rights in the society moving further with the reading of the text this fitly explains chhatrapati shivaji's bowing his head before a woman and respectfully restoring her dignity as a mother when some misguided soldiers of his victorious army presented her to shivaji as a gift this too explains that the great wars in both the sacred epics the ramayana and the mahabharata were fought for defending and upholding the honor of this matri shakti the powerful motherhood does this not put those to shame who think of restoring to female feticide or denying the female sex their rightful place in the affairs of the world let's learn some new words and their meanings from the above text first restoring means bring back a previous right practice custom or situation second dignity means the state or quality of being worthy of honor or respect third victorious means having won a victory fourth sacred means connected with god or the gods fifth feticide means 
destruction or abortion of a fetus dear students i am sure you all have read about chhatrapati shivaji maharaj he was the founder of the maratha empire he was considered to be one of the greatest warriors of his time and even today he was a born leader shivaji had a great respect for women it is evident from the incident that once his maratha officer presented to him a woman as a gift he bowed his head before a lady in respect he ordered his soldiers to send her to her home with apologies for her capture he issued a warning that in future during raids or war with the enemy women on no account should be made to suffer this clearly states that chhatrapati shivaji had a great respect for women and had set an example for the society that everybody should respect women dear students we all are very much familiar with the story of the ramayana ram ji was born as the first son of dashrath king of ayodhya ram ji took birth to free the earth from the cruelty and sins of the demon king ravan one day saint vishwamitra visited ayodhya and asked dashrath to send ram and lakshman with him because demon tarka was terrifying him and other saints at his ashram so ram ji kept the promise made by his father and spent 14 years in exile he left for forest this shows his love and respect for his parents the great war was fought to protect the respect of women the story goes like this once srupnakha the sister of ravan passed by the place where ram ji was living she saw ram ji and became very impressed by his beauty she transformed herself into a beautiful lady and went to ram ji and asked him to marry her when ram ji refused and told her that he is already married to sita she became angry srupnakha told the whole story to his brother ravan ram ji's wife sita was abducted by ravan to take revenge for the insult his sister has suffered so he kidnapped sita and brought her to lanka so the war broke out to protect sita from ravan this clearly states that the great war was fought for upholding the honor of this matra shakti the powerful motherhood in hindu dharma mahabharata is the greatest war of all time it was the war between the kauravas and the pandavas similarly the mahabharata was fought to protect the respect of women draupadi was considered as the sole reason behind the great 
Mahabharata War. According to the author, Ramayana is the first epic of Mahabharata. According to the author, those people should be ashamed of themselves who believe in female feticide. It is a terrible practice. The discrimination against the female gender has reached such a level that when the fetus being carried by a pregnant woman is that of a girl, the fetus is destroyed in her womb. It is a matter of shame for our society. We all must take it as a moral and social responsibility to stop the practice of female feticide and also encourage and educate people to stop it completely. Please stop female feticide, save the girl child. A female has a right to take birth as she will be a daughter today and a wife and a future mother in the time to come. So students, no past, present or future without a girl. Students, before doing this fill-ups, I'll tell you what is the meaning of model. A model is a verb that combines with another verb to indicate mood or tense. So students, filling the blanks using the models might, should or must. First sentences. Your friend said you didn't need to buy her anything for her birthday, but insistence you dash at least get her some flowers. Second, Anju said she was really busy this week, but I think she dash show up at the party if she doesn't have to work overtime. Third, my husband said he would come over right after work, so he dash be here by 6 o'clock. Fourth, don't move her. She dash be having some internal injuries because of the accident. Fifth, you dash be joking. Sixth, your trip to Europe dash have been absolutely fascinating. Check your answers. First, your friend said you didn't need to buy her anything for her birthday, but insistence you must at least get her some flowers. Second, Anju said she was really busy this week, but I think she might show up at the party if she doesn't have to work overtime. Third, my husband said he would come over right after work, so he might be here by 6 o'clock. Fourth, don't move her. She might be having some internal injuries because of the accident. Fifth, you must be joking. Sixth, your trip to Europe must have been absolutely fascinating. Let's do some comprehension questions. Question number one. Why did Shivaji bow his head before the woman who was brought to him as a gift? And the answer is, Shivaji had great respect for every woman. He hated the idea of accepting women as a gift. So he bowed his head before a woman and respectfully restoring her dignity. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वाई अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वर द वॉर्स फॉट इन द महाभारता एंड रामायणा सेक्रेड एंड द आंसर इज द वॉर्स व फॉट इन द महाभारता एंड रामायणा टू अपहोल्ड द ऑनर एंड डिग्निटी ऑफ ऑल वेमेन in the society so these wars were sacred question number 3 what does lord rama's meeting with a bheel woman and eating the tasted berries show and the answer is this shows that people of all caste and creeds mixed with each other there was no discrimination on the basis of caste or creed question number 4 what was the status of women in the ancient india and the answer is women were worshiped like goddesses no function was considered auspicious without the participation of women she enjoyed a high status in ancient times question number 5 what is the basic difference between the position of women in society in the ancient times and now answer number 5 in ancient times women was worshiped like goddesses women had a very high status no function was considered auspicious without the participation of women In modern times some women hold high position and some are working in their home the incidents of female feticide shows that they are not getting respect in modern times students here's a home assignment for you write a paragraph on status of women in india past and present fill in the blanks with the suitable articles a and the once upon dash time there was dash old woman who lived in dash little house she had in her garden dash bed of beautiful striped tulips one night she was awakened by dash sounds of sweet singing of birds and the sound of some babies laughing she looked out of dash window the sounds seemed to come from dash tulip bed but she could see nothing dash next morning she walked among her flowers but there were no signs of any one having been there dash night before on dash following night she was again awakened by the same sounds she rose and stole softly through her garden the moon was shining brightly on dash tulip bed and dash flowers were swaying to and fro dash old woman looked closely and saw 
standing by each tulip dash little fairy mother who was crooning and rocking the flower like dash cradle while in each tulip cup lay dash little fairy baby laughing and playing dash good old woman stole quietly back to her house and from that time on she never picked dash tulip nor did she allow her neighbors to touch dash flowers i end my lecture with a beautiful quote by swami vivekanand there is no chance for the welfare of the world unless the condition of women is improved it is not possible for a bird to fly on only one wing that's all for today thank you students happy learning